Absolutely. Thanks for staying with us. Well, a major highway project happening on Highway 90 in Gulfport in the name of progress. There are some detours we're going to talk about. It's that tramway crossover being put in place down by the Mississippi Aquarium. And here to tell us about it, Coast Transit Authority Executive Director Kevin Coggin. Kevin, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Thank you. I like this project. We've talked about it before. I think it is very cool that the north and south sides going over to Jones Park are going to now be connected for pedestrians, bicyclists, and tell us about the trams that you're going to have. Right. The bridge is designed for small buses. We call it a tram, which is a Disney World parking lot kind of vehicle. Everybody's uh, familiar with that just so you know a little bitty we're, we're probably going to run a little trolley across real small it's got uh, specific areas for for pedestrians and bikes so everybody's got their own lane for safety's sake so uh it's it's, it's a really great project now we're looking at a, uh, some animation here and artist rendering how this is ultimately going to look as we're coming in low down by the uh, by mississippi aquarium which is a big part of this project, as is the CTA Transit Center right next door. And uh, this will allow people, I think public safety is a big issue, because just use the Christmas lights as an example. All those pedestrians that have to cross there at 15th, it's dangerous. That's right, there's hundreds of thousands of people that attend events in Jones Park, and this will provide a quick, safe link to walk across. Uh, the other thing is the park is underutilized. You have all these people visiting the aquarium every year and they're standing on the north side looking at the south side at this beautiful park. And now this bridge, people are gonna definitely gonna just walk across because it's literally right across the street to walk down into the park and see the harbor and that, you know, all that beautiful geography right there. So it makes that link north to south. Well, yeah, and that goes both ways. Mississippi Aquarium needs all the help it can get in terms of traffic and visitorship. So if you can somehow make it a little easier from people who are over at Jones Park or at the harbor, just come off maybe the Ship Island excursion boat to go over to the aquarium, they have an opportunity to do so. That's right. The other element is we have a 550 car parking garage on the north side and surface parking is not the highest best use of that park. Other activities are. So that's part of it as well. Park on the north side, go to the aquarium, walk down to the park or if there's a festival of lights, you know, we have a lot of people parking in the garage and we right now we're busing them across the street or they're walking. So this this is a big, big deal. Well, I wanted to uh, ask you about that parking garage right across from the federal courthouse and right behind your transit center. Uh, I've only been there a couple of times, usually when I'm doing stories at Mississippi Aquarium. Right. But uh, how well, how uh, uh, used is that? I mean, is it, uh, you know, a lot of people using that parking garage or do you think people still are unaware that it even exists? No, aquarium visitors are parking there. It's not like it used to be. We were starting to build some parking when Katrina hit. We built that thing in 2003 and Katrina just totally destroyed West Gulfport. And so that garage has not really been underutilized. And, and it's one of the reasons why the aquarium was built, why, where it was built, because the garage was already there. And so the aquarium didn't have to pay for parking. So it was a really good joint development project between CTA, the aquarium and the city. And, and we all three worked really well together over many, many years to plan and get all these pieces together. Well, it's a $10 million project. Well, I think do we, we may have some video that right now people are seeing, really it's a tremendous feat of engineering as we're seeing the tramway actually put in place over the highway. And because of that, uh, we've now had two nights where 90 has been closed and then we're gonna have the uh, 25th, we're gonna have the 30th and February 2nd and it's happening from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. Right. so as not to uh, inconvenience uh, people. Uh, how's that been going? Work well. Last night was the first night. They put three spans down. I was out there for two hours watching them. Uh, these Maloof contractor, they build these bridges all the time. They're really good uh, on time, on budget. Uh, they did those three spans. It, it was a wonder to watch it because it's like a big erector set and you got all these pieces, parts and bolts and they, they pick them up off the trucks and set it in there. It sounds easier than it is because you got all these angles and it's, it's just a wonder to watch these people work. There's like six guys that, that are doing that all set that? three spans in eight hours last yeah. night. It's phenomenal. Okay, well, let's talk a little. You were just telling me something, so we're, so we're gonna bring this up. 
So Highway 90 is closed. Barricades are in place. Very clear uh, detour uh, signage, I think, That's is right. in place as well to go around into downtown. But you were telling me there are people who are actually going around the barricades and, and everything else. It's well, ridiculous. Well, un unfortunately, there were five or six cars last night that defeated the barricades, drove around them. A couple of cars were driving pretty fast. We had our construction workers literally in the road picking these big spans up with a crane. They need to pay attention to what they're doing. We really don't need people driving on that part of the road when it's closed. And I would ask the public to cooperate with us and don't do that. Yeah. I'll join you on that one, Kevin. You might have to bring some Gulfport police officers in um, there or add some more barricades. Yeah. Do yeah. You, what are you talking about doing in regard uh, to that? You know, we're going to have to get with the police department before next week. There's not a whole lot we can do with it. There's sufficient numbers of barricades. It's just, uh, I can't explain why people do some of the well, things Well, some people do, drive so. around <laughs> railroad crossing arms as right, well. I mean. So go figure. <laughs> I know. Uh, Kevin Coggin from uh, CTA, Executive Director, we're watching this tramway, this pedestrian walkway come together. Again, it's a, an, a, an engineering marvel, and it could be a game changer in downtown Gulfport. Uh, thanks for being here, Kevin. Thank you. An update. And thanks for watching this weekend. I'll see you back here next Sunday morning.